Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Urusha Nirola and as you probably guessed by the title, today we are going to talk about whether or not is it possible for seven different people in the world to have the same face and body type as well. It is quite difficult to draw a particular conclusion on the topic without having a deep study of genetics. Each and every kind of structure, either in face or any other part of the body, are due to the result of phenotype and genotype. Genotype is determined by the genetic materials, DNA only. However, phenotype resembles can be later on affected by different types of environmental factors. Mutation can also occur, which can bewilder the normal concept we have till now about phenotype and genotype. What is phenotype? The morphological structure is seen as an outer appearance due to the effect of genotype and environmental factors is known as phenotype of an organism. So what is genotype? Genotype is the genetic structure or the genetic makeup of an organism, which is generally acquired from heredity and stored in DNA, which resembles the phenotype is known as genotype. It is the gene where mutation takes place. Taking into the consideration of time right when human species started till now, evolution played a vital role to changes drastically. Although from a generation to generation we have evolved, but we are all diversified forms of our single ancestor. The genes contained in our ancestors got mutated in different ways during cross-fertilization, due to which hybrid species were formed, which were genetically different. During the hybridization of the species, the genotype of the species go through the changes that make the changes in phenotype. The genetic change makes physical change in us the face, the body structure, characters required for adaptations, etc., get modified in every filial generation during crossbreeding. The question may be raised that how was it possible to form different species of different genotype to form non sister species, say human? As mentioned above, the mutation plays vital role in abrupt evolution. The geographical aspects, mode of nutrition, and different environmental factors bring about a change in the genetic structure of the species. Furthermore, different rays of the sun also alter the coding of DNA. It changes the genetic structure. In this way, species of different genotypes are formed. When non-sister gametes are fertilized, new hybrid form of the species is formed which is different in both genotype and phenotype. The phenomenon continues for several thousands of years to form large diversified groups of same species, which are distributed all over the world. This is the reason we are having people all over the world having different faces and body structures. Everyone differs from each other in at least one or two genetic or physical characters. Nevertheless, we hear that two people having same face were reported. Now, after getting the background of what brings about a change in the genetic and physical structure of any species, let us go deeper to find out whether it is possible to have same face by two people or not. According to Mendel, the dominant character is always seen in the first filial generation, which suppresses the recessive character, but they do not mix with each other. And recessive character can be seen in next generation as it is hidden but not vanished. The occurrence of one contrasting character doesn't affect the occurrence of another contrasting character, although there are many contrasting characters to be considered which determine the genotype and phenotype of one single species. There is great possibility of having at least 90% of common contrasting characters after many filial generations. According to the law of Mendel, the contrasting characteristics, if do not appear in one filial generation, it can appear in the next filial generation. Similarly, changes seen in one generation of human can again come back as previous one. Let us consider a generation in which offspring have black eyes. In next generation, offsprings can have blue eyes as a hybrid product. Let this line of generation continue up to where it can. Let we assume that current generation has blue eyes. Let us suppose another line of generation which had blue eyes before and after hybridization, they have blue eyes again after passing through many filial generations. At the end, product of both impure lines will have common contrasting characters, that is, blue eyes anyhow. In this similar process, if we consider the changes in all contrasting characteristics like height, color of hair, presence of dimple in cheeks, shape of ears, etc. 
If there are similar genotypes seen in two different people, then the physical appearance is similar. After many filial generation, it is possible that people can have almost same genotype with each other if it is the reason we find different people with same face. They almost seem to be clones. So if people have similar or same genotype, they can surely have similar phenotype. They can have same exact face and body structure. Not only as rumor, but for sure it is possible that seven people can have same face. Not only seven, thousands of people can have similar face if they have similar genotype. It is true that after many generations and evolutions we go through, we again get back to our ancestors' characters, which were being hidden as recessive characters due to presence of dominant characters. Don't worry thinking that we will completely turn out to ancestors, as many of those rare contrasting characters have already got banished with them, but still, some characteristics may appear sooner or later if they are hidden. So when you meet someone of similar face with yours, feel lucky that you got someone of similar genotype as yours, and you have some kind of faith connection with that person. That person might be from the same ancestors of yours. So what do you think? Can seven people really have the same face? Let us discuss in the comment section below. Thumbs up and subscribe for more.